Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video. And today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. We're going to be checking out their brand new, straight from the infinite frontier, Joker number one, the Joker. And how do I know that? Well, right there on the side of the box. Joker, infinite frontier. On the back side of the packaging, well, in all honesty, I wish that this was the Joker we were getting. So... The artwork works uh, in reverse this time. Here's the barcode for the Joker. Hopefully you'll start seeing these around yeah, February. Fingers crossed. Now, following the events of Joker War and getting shot in the face and just losing an eye, he's fine. Harley Quinn did that. Well, Joker's back and he's in a brand new comic series and he's missing an eye. He's actually holding his eye. More on that later. Let's <laughs> sit back. Relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new The Joker, straight from Infinite Frontier, from the DC Multiverse line, by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you jokers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Had McFarlane Toys not sent this out... I would have not picked up this figure. However, I'll put my thoughts and my feelings aside and we'll look at what figure we do have in front of us. Namely, a Joker with a knife. Yes, another knife. It's it's another knife. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's there. But uh, when he does want to hold said knife, yeah, he holds it rather well. So no complaints there. He's only got one hand to do so. The other hand is preoccupied with something else. But I like the little ornate J's every which way on the knife. The Joker himself... You have to keep in mind, if you don't know this version of the Joker, which I really don't myself, however, this is a new take, redesign, kind of in that vein of trying to make the Joker sexy for some reason, and I do not understand that, nor will I ever abide by that. The Joker is a maniac, homicidal killer, so yeah, but you can see he's got one stitched eye, one eye opened, it's an interesting take. Now, it does match the comic book source material, so I'll give him that all day. It looks fantastic for the sculpt. If you look at the figure and you look at the comic book cover, which they're drawing from, take note of the eye in which way it's pointed. This eye is backwards. So, unless you have his hand like this, which no one holds their hand like that when you're trying to show an eye... The eye is painted wrong, so if you go to put it in front of his eye, you can't do that because the eye is reversed. If you want to go on this side with his other hand and you want to kind of do like a peekaboo kind of thing, <laughs> there's always one thing amiss or, you know what I mean, it's always like one big thing. So yeah, you can kind of do that. It, it just doesn't work. So the eye is backwards on that and there's no way to flip it. So the rest of the figure is largely all purple plastic. I thought it did share some body parts with Arkham Joker, but it doesn't. He's got some nice painted spats. He's got some coattails. Nice wrinkleature. The sculpt is fine. It's beautiful. It looks great. If you're into the Infinite Frontier, if you like the way this Joker looks, they did nail it. And the articulation is not bad itself. I kind of like what they did with the arms, bicep, double jointed, the wrist move, everything else. So... It's fine for what it is. Not much of an ab crunch. He will spin. His legs will go out. The diaper is actually working well with this particular figure, so that's nice to see. Double jointed in the knees, and he will actually have some good rotation in the feet, the spats, toe articulation. So the articulation on top of the sculpt is fine for this particular Joker. And what a many Jokers... Uh, there have been so far, especially in my collection. And yes, like I said previously, I have a very ideal look for the Joker. Yes, it can change from time to time. But this new particular look, even though the cutting of the face off kind of thing kind of melded with me after a while. So I might gel with this later. But for now, and my tastes of what I think about with the Joker... It's just not working for me. And like I said, I previously thought that he had shared some body parts with the Arkham Joker. No, he has pretty much 100% all new parts here and there, which is nice to see. Now, in terms of his scalature, it will depend on which Batman you'd like to use with this particular Joker. Here's just a couple in general. But yes, this Joker is shorter, and that's how I see him 
largely with most Batman, as you can see on the left right there. Uh, the more rebirth Batman, he's a little bit smaller than said Joker. So again, like I said, it just really all depends. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Infinite Frontier Joker. You've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Infinite Frontier Joker. Whether or not I care for the design of the figure, the design is there. The Joker is present. So they did a good job in that sense, but it's just for me, not the ideal Joker, and really not one that I would have picked up. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I still want to see it. I still want to see a Joker with an articulated jaw. Come on, McFarland Toys. I knows you got it in you. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.